What is up guys? My name is Josh and I'm Jacob and we have a skill hybrid here for you guys and they are absolutely brilliant. They are half silver, half gold, so they are pretty they're pretty well rounded in that sense. They're really good. We have two Greek players in there which was actually pretty nice to have. So yeah, it's a bit of a variation in the back line. We do have Dede and this Panama center back Beloy. Uh, he's okay. I wouldn't say he's the best center back in the world, but uh, he did the job, I guess. And he did score us a header, which which is always good. Yeah, that's that's a plus. And this guy's a very very fast left back, uh, Holbus or Holbas or Holabus. I don't know how you would pronounce his name, but uh, he is a good. He's pretty good. I mean, Dede definitely um, dominated in the back line, but uh, he was a good player. Yeah, the back line was okay. Um, Quintero is an is a beast, and we've used him a quite a few times in our uh, personal squads and he did very well for us and he fit perfectly into the squad and, Rafael uh, Sobi yeah. um, he's originally a center forward as well as Quintero but we decided to uh, translate him back into the center mid position and they work quite well there so did Fatsi DC he is a center attacking mid originally and that wasn't too big of a change for him yeah so our left forward was none other than Neymar and I'm guessing why you guys think that we'd have him in, a, in our squad he is definitely the best left forward five-star skiller in the game and up front we decided to use uh carlos eduardo who is usually a center attacking mid but he worked well in the striker position anyways and uh kelvin obviously on the right everybody most people know kelvin if you've used the silver brazilian squad he is incredible he is a very young prospect i think he's only 19 or 20 years old at the moment and i can see him becoming one of the great one of the great players in the world honestly having that kind of technique at his age is always a plus um and yeah, I don't know about what you said about left. He's Neymar being the best five-star skill and left forward in the game because there is Cristiano Ronaldo, but we will oh, keep yeah. it at that. Uh, <laughs> Brazilian-wise, he is though. Yeah, him but, over Rubinho. Yeah, definitely. You guys will see us using. Well, I just used a bunch of skills in that last clip. I don't know if you guys were paying too much attention to it, but Neymar is gonna put away the penalty kick, and uh, the team was. This this team is just incredible. When you whenever you play with a skilling team, there's so much fun. Yeah, you have to you have to learn to take it slow. Go skill by skill, learn skill by skill. Like every couple days, get used to a certain skill, and then once you have a bunch in your arsenal, just have at it. Honestly, play normally a little bit and skill a little bit when you need to and can. And you'll do very, very well. It's very fun to do. Yeah, I don't I don't usually skill like crazy, but whenever the opportunity presents itself, I do not hesitate to do so. So, yep, we, we did get a bunch of goals with this team in about three games. Oh, my God, we got, we got so many. It was just ridiculous. Yeah, we had a long list of goals that we had to go edit in afterwards. And it, was, uh, it didn't take too much time because I have had a lot of practice because Josh here scores a lot of goals all the time and kind of pisses me off but <laughs> it's helpful I guess and get creates better videos and yeah these guys are very well positioned it's a very very unique hybrid I would say it's a perfect formation for a skill team and they worked very well um, I would say the one player that I didn't like at all was probably Carlos Eduardo and striker not a good option. I don't know who else you could put there. You could probably put Elkis in. Yeah, Elkis a good option there. That's the striker that I have for my skill but squad. Who, who, if you could afford it, it would be uh, the silver striker Wallace in. Also five star skills, and he's absolutely incredible. Yeah, and if um, you guys can, if you want to one up everything, just grab uh, Cristiano Ronaldo on that left forward and get the informed Neymar up front. Yeah, if you could find out a hybrid for that, you go for it. I mean, by all means, but that's very, very hard to afford. And I don't expect uh, many people to be able to afford that. But one player in this squad that you just watched score, uh, Rafael Sobi, has insane long shots. I scored a long shot, unfortunately. We didn't record it, but I scored it from nearly half. It flew, hit the post, and into the net. It was incredible. I screamed. Josh screamed because it was against him, actually. Um, <laughs> But it was very, it was a very good goal. Yeah, we, I think we should start recording a lot more of the skill stuff because we've been, we never used to skill much, but ever since we started a couple weeks ago, we've been doing so much better. And just in general, we've been getting better playing with regular teams because it teaches you to be a lot more patient and look for opportunities. Yeah, and, it, and also when you do skill, it creates a lot of space. And if you have some decent shots up front or in the, in the midfield, you can easily just, as soon as you create space, wire it top corner. And obviously, if you wire it top corner, it's probably going to go in. There's a super lucky goal right there. But yeah, we did get lucky quite a bit. And that's, you'll find that happens a lot, especially uh, when you're skilling in the box. You'll probably pick up a few penalty shots as well. And it's 
it's common and it's definitely helps you win some games um one thing i recommend you don't do when you skill though is only skill because that will screw you up and you will get frustrated all the time so yeah, play normally and skill when you can yeah absolutely yeah i think right here you might see me do some skill that's like you don't need to go absolutely all out insanity during these things all you need to do is just do enough to get by the defender and put the ball into the back of the net. Yeah. So, yeah, that was pretty much it for this squad builder. I suggest you guys go buy it if you have the coins. Um, It's really fun to play with, and it's something to learn at the end of FIFA 13, just, just for fun throughout the summer or whatever you plan to do. Anyways, my name is Jacob. And I'm Josh. We'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.